Crown Heights on Albany Avenue and Eastern Parkway. It was at that time that the Rebbe, who had been in the Greystone Hotel, they bought 770 Eastern Parkway. And the Rebbe was moved over to Eastern Parkway. And at that time, there were only three Lubavitcher families living in the area. For one reason or another, my father liked it in Lubavitch, even though he wasn't a Lubavitcher, and we began to dabble there. Chassidish Yid Rebbe Lefrat to move on Eastern Parkway, that whole block were professionals. They were, many of them were members of the Jewish Center, which was the conservative. Most of the Chassidim then, who were already around, lived in Bronzeville, uh, 25 minutes from Crown Heights. I was learning in Yeshiva Torah Das, and I told my father, I want to switch to Lubavitch. And he said, you're, 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 not, you're an American kid. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make it in Lubavitch. We're not Lubavitch Chassidim. And you don't know what a European yeshiva is. It's not like the yeshivas that you've been with. I said, well, they, in Torah Das, they speak Yiddish, so then they'll speak Yiddish. He said, well, if you want to go, uh, it's okay with me, but be prepared that uh, you may find it unpleasant or difficult because uh, it's a European yeshiva, it's not an American yeshiva. I didn't find it unpleasant at all. The Rebbe once explained that since a Rebbe is a general neshama, so the Mela, when the Rebbe moves into a house, it is not just a private person moving in, but it's actually a house for the whole Jewish nation.